right guys, welcome back. So today's video, I decided I wanted to show you guys what I worked out before the, the YPG, how I prepared to go to the YPG. So you guys know I'm experienced. I've got the Marine Corps behind me, infantry. Uh, I've got four years of working out at a gym uh, behind me. And this is no gym required though. It's a really good workout. I would say it's the ultimate infantry workout. Uh, so all that's required is just a 50 pound pack. You guys don't have to put 50 pounds in it. Uh, it does not have to be a military one either. Um, you know, this is just what I put in it. Uh, you guys can start off with 20. We're just gonna be doing a run with it. And uh, other than that, you just gotta be in a park, man. You gotta find a pull-up bar and a place to do push-ups. All right, well, first things first, we gotta stretch. Uh, I recommend doing a little bit of static stretching, but mostly we wanna be on the move. So we'll start off with the static stretching. This is just whatever you feel that you need to stretch beforehand. And the moving stretches I like to do is uh, obviously some shoulder ones. So you're gonna put the arms forward and then backwards. Then we're gonna get a good back one, which is just this. Reach out to your side. So once you do that, you can bend over. Do one of these. I love those ones. Those ones do back really well. And the rest of them are just gonna be legs, so just watch me. And the reason I like to do the, the moving stretches beforehand is because it warms up the muscles. And it's not in a weird way, especially if it's cold outside. If you're doing static stretches, you can pull a muscle. So um, very important you do some moving stretches beforehand. And that's it. Let's get started. So as I said, we're just gonna start off with some push-ups. Uh, this is a good warm-up uh, exercise. We're gonna do four sets. All right, so as I do the push-ups here, I just wanna explain a couple things. There are a million and one different ways to do push-ups. You just see me do standard here, but you can do diamond push-ups, Y push-ups, incline push-ups with the, with the bench. You can do decline push-ups. Those are awesome for upper chest. Um, there's really a million different ways to do push-ups. Uh, I would recommend switching them out. So maybe do a standard set of push-ups, then <sighs> switch to wide push-ups and then diamond push-ups. Um, okay, one thing, I keep saying push-ups. I'm you know, annoying myself, but one thing about the wide push-ups, I would recommend not doing too many of them um, because you can end up kind of screwing up your shoulder. Not screwing it up, but you can, there's potential for injury. So watch out for that. Oh man. All right, once you've done all four, we're gonna do the pull-ups now. Ooh. Now I'm actually gonna go and show you uh, not only pull-ups, but also the ab workout in this uh, in this little clip. Uh, so first of all, pull-ups, you can see me. Uh, you gotta make sure your chin is going above the bar and you wanna make sure your elbows are locking out. If they don't lock out, you're not gonna be developing all of the bicep and all of your back. You're only gonna be developing a short portion of that. So make sure to do complete pull-ups. Um, you can also switch your hands. It doesn't have to be over the bar. It can be under. Those are called curl-ups. Those ones are just as fine, uh, just a different version, all right? Those ones seem to be a little simpler. Um, but now I'm doing the, the ab workout that I was talking about. This one is amazing. I love this workout it, uh, or this exercise. What it does is, it, is it, it's got an extremely large range of motion, which develops all of your abs, except for the obliques. And the obliques which are your side abs, you'll get those um, exercised uh, just from running. And the, you know that'll be enough usually. Now, uh, this is the intermediate version of it, just putting your knee to your chest. Um, I would raise it a little bit more than what I'm doing here, but uh, that's the intermediate version. If you're getting tired or you can't do the, the full range of motion, um, that's a great one, great one to do. All right. Once you've done four sets of both the, the ab workout and also the pull-ups, it's time to do the run. It's the end. Um, we already stretched ourselves out. If you wanna get any final stretches, like an ankle stretch, go ahead, do that. Uh, but it's time to get that pack out of your car. Let's do this. Just to show you, I'm not kidding around. First of all, this is the YPG International patch I got. Uh, but unzip, there we go, 25, got two of them. So that's 50 pounds plus a back and keys and stuff. Um, that's a good weight. It, it's an advanced weight, but um, if you can do it, go ahead and do that. Second thing, that's a sledding hill right there. We're gonna be running up that a couple times. <laughs> All right, so as I walk to the sledding hill, <laughs> that thing is much taller than you'd expect. I'll try and get a, a good angle on the camera for you guys, but 
as I walk there, I want to show you, <laughs> this is my broken backpack. I got it from Joe's Army Navy. Um, it was like 40 bucks, but keep in mind that if you buy a cheap backpack like me, just because it looks like camo, it might break on you. <laughs> I was doing a ruck around there and it just failed to go and uh, open up. So I had to smash with a dumbbell. It was really bad. Yeah, but anyway, let's do this. We'll begin the sprints. I'm gonna do about five of them. Usually what I did beforehand was 10, but you gotta build up to it. So let me show you five and then we'll go on a little run. The hardest part of the workout, um, <laughs> what can I say? These are sprints up a hill with 50 pounds, right? Uh, the reason we do this is because when I was in the YPG, or no, when I was in the Marine Corps, sprinting up hills is what we do. Uh, they're not gonna stop for you. If you're, if you're hiking, you're gonna be going fast up those hills. There's no, there's no waiting around. So you need to be able to train your legs for, for moving fast with a lot of weight, with an incline. So even if you can't find a hill like mine, um, try and find just a slight incline and sprint. Uh, this will develop your legs into not just being able to run fast, but being able to run fast with a lot of weight, because that's the reality of being in the YPG, especially a machine gunner. Well, we're almost done. We just got a run left. Uh, usually I would incorporate the sprints with the run, but that wouldn't line up with the, the footage I'm trying to get. So. Um, yeah, we just did the sprints. Let's do the run now. I want to make it at least a mile. And if you have to walk during any of these, that's fine. You're gonna you're gonna have to, especially starting off. Uh, just make sure to get to a mile at least. Let's go. I'll just take you guys with me as I go through the mile. Wish me luck. Almost done. Just keep the pace down. It'll be a lot easier. Just make sure to get that mile done. That's all it is. Uh, it's time to stretch now a real stretch not the not the moving one the static and the reason we're doing the static stretches afterwards is because we are in recovery stage now we are done with the workout it is time to to eat up get all the protein in sleep and um you know get ready for the next workout so stretch it as much as possible now we actually had a haval he passed away when i was there but he was very big on yoga I think that's really important. Yoga is a great, great stretching routine to get into uh, right after a workout, especially one like this, really strenuous, using all your body. So let me show you some yoga and uh, this will be it guys. Well, guys, let me get in frame. This was the workout. Uh, this is what I did for the entire month before joining the YPG. Uh, it was incredibly beneficial and uh, making me very successful when I was there. Never failed a hike, never failed anything. And um, yeah, I was much better off than when I joined the Marine Corps. And I didn't, I really neglected leg strength when I was going into the Marine Corps. And the infantry way of life is all built on the legs. So, so make sure never neglect your legs. That's the, that's the major point I want to get from this video. Um, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. If you didn't, a dislike's fine as well. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I give a lot of videos on the YPG or going into the military and stuff. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.